Let's get naked. Not like that, okay YouTube? Don't try to demonetize me. So in case you haven't heard the news, Buff Bunny's dropping a brand spanking new collection called the Naked Collection. It is a stunningly beautiful color palette. It will be dropping June 24th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And as always, my code GATA does give you 10% off your entire Buff Bunny order. Like every other Buff Bunny video, we'll be going over everything that they have shared with me. So the entire brief, everything that's gonna be dropping on launch day. And then I'll be reviewing the pieces that I have here today. Guys, this portion of today's video is brought to you by Belief. Belief is an affordable activewear company that you can also find on Amazon. Today I want to share with you one of their brand new sets. We're looking at the sweat leaf leggings with the U-neck tank top. These are both in the color Estate Blue. Let's start with the leggings. Right out of the gate, first impression, it's low compression. Very good for aerobics and yoga. You have two pockets, no front seam. This is a 27 inch inseam, but they do offer a few different lengths. This is in my true size small. If you're in between, I suggest sizing down. It's very soft to the touch, very good at wicking. So a perfect breathable, lightweight pair of leggings to wear during the summer months. To pair with this, I did grab their matching U-neck tank top. This is a full length tank with a built-in supportive sports bra. The straps are very comfortable, nice and thick. You have a natural scoop neckline on the front and the back. If you're in between, again, I would definitely suggest sizing down. I will have these linked down below in case you're interested. And feel free to use this code right here to save at checkout. I love that Buff Bunny has themes to their launches. This one's no different. So here's what Buff Bunny has to say about the collection. The Naked Collection celebrates and embraces your natural body, shape, complexion, and aims to foster self-confidence and a deep love for your body. Through bold showcases of what society deems as imperfections, like stretch marks, scars, and cellulite. The collection emphasizes the importance of embracing one's uniqueness. The color palette. Here's what we're looking at. Onyx black, chocolate, journey dark brown, mocha, brady brown, okay brady bunch, cocoa, nutmeg, hazelnut, stardust, ivory, almond milk, and white. That's a massive color palette. Every single nude tone possible for real. In fact, today, since I knew we were filming naked, I used my petite naked eyeshadow palette for this special occasion. How's it look? You look okay? The fabrics used in this collection are Elysium, Nimbus, and Nubre. Nothing new there, no new fabrics. As I go over each individual piece, you'll see the color palette over to the left hand side and everything you need to know on the right hand side. So feel free to pause the video at any moment if you wanna see further into that piece. The pieces that are dropping in this launch are the classic legacy legging, my favorite. Rosa pocket legging, contour pocket short, Foxy sports bra, I am wearing that right now. This was from a previous collection, actually that 70s collection. I already have the stardust color, so I didn't need to grab another one, but I am wearing it and I love it. Contour pocket legging, ribbed booty pant, ribbed seamless short, revolution sports bra, queen bee legging, legacy four inch short, the lifesaver short, you guys love this short. Ribbed seamless sports bra, ribbed seamless legging, legacy six inch, let me get a what what for my six inches. Naked sports bra, reversible sports bra, okay? I actually did ask for some of these, they're gonna be late, so I don't have them in today's haul, but these are some of my favorite bras. Twisted sports bra, ribbed seamless tank, exposed mesh jacket, jacket. It says jacket twice. <laughs> I thought that was, I thought my eye was playing tricks on me. Game changer belt bag, revolution halter sports bra, the ivy bodysuit, ribbed seamless zip jacket, the game changer backpack, all right. Go with the flow crop, long sleeve graphic tee, some scrunchies, ribbed crop, dad hat accessories, and full crew socks. The pieces that we've already seen in previous collections are the reversible sports bra, revolution sports bra, foxy sports bra, legacy six inch short, legacy legging, and lifesaver short. Just so you know, nothing has changed with those pieces. This belt bag, if you look closely, has a little bit of a shimmer to it. It glistens a bit. What I love about this bag is they went with very gold tone accents. It's a very simple, straightforward bag. Opens right in the front. You have an ample amount of space. There's no back zipper. Lays flat up against your skin. You can wear it around your waist like I do. I saw Heidi in one of her reels wear it like this. You can totally do that too. This metal is so hunky-dunky. Just beware, like, 
This piece right here is plastic though. Boom. Something I did notice is that this strap, when I tighten it to my preferred uh, tightness, <laughs> I noticed the strap just kind of hangs loose and has nowhere to go. It's just flying in the wind. Luckily, they did add this elastic strap here. It does stretch out. Kind of tucked it in, did a little, little back and forth tuckaroo, and it seems to be okay. In fact, from far away, it might look like a cute bow. That's what Bay said. Take a look right over here. These are my measurements. They'll also be in the description box below as well. These are all in a size small. Everything you see in today's video is in my true size small. Let's start with the Ivy bodysuit because I did an Instagram reel where I styled this with some of the other pieces. You guys really loved it and you had a lot of questions. So this is in the color Brady Brown. Let's start at the top. Top is very pretty. You have a high neck. The sleeves are cut in such a way where it's very flattering, similar to this, where you see a lot of exposed shoulders. Nothing's really cinching in right here. You do have removable bra pads and a full on shelf bra. Now, what I love about the top here is the fact that these straps are adjustable. This is made completely out of their new Bray fabric. So very, very soft. But if you know the new Bray fabric, you would know it's relatively on the thick side. This does also come in black. So if you're not into this color, at least they went with your signature black. Moving on to the back. This is where it's at. This does not adjust, okay? So this lattice -y design back here, this crisscross, there's no adjustments whatsoever, but these straps are relatively stretchy. No discomfort whatsoever on the backside. There's the Buff Bunny reflective logo that's printed on the lower backside. You do have slightly arched glute seams, glute separation, a little seam breakup, nothing crazy. The shorts are a little too short <laughs> for me. This is a four inch inseam short. You know I'm comfortable with like six inch plus. Now I know I say this all the time. I genuinely don't like short shorts. Other than the overall length, I did notice when I squat down and really moved around in this, it did tend to roll a little bit, right? It made its way up. You can expect it to roll ever so slightly. I think this is very true to size. Sizing up or down, if you're in between, this gets tricky. I mean, I would say you can get away with sizing up simply because this material isn't the type to wrinkle around. So I think with a little extra space rather than not enough, that's the route you wanna take with this. This is the exposed mesh jacket in the color Stardust. When I saw this jacket on the brief, I knew this would be so, so perfect for the up coming super hot months here. Now, this is a full zip. It's a cropped jacket, full mesh, so extremely breathable. You have not one, but two side zippered pockets. You also have two non-zippered pockets internally. From the front, you can see where the pockets have the double mesh to add in so that you're able to actually put something in here and have a usable pocket. So it does look a little more opaque in certain parts simply because there's extra material. Right where the arm bends, you can see some seam breakup, some contouring happening over there. The cuffs are very stretchy. Best part is the overall mesh material is stretchy too. I'm pulling right at the seams too. Right where they right where they combine the seam. And this is not going anywhere. I'm tugging literally as hard as I can and it's not ripping. Please don't rip. <laughs> the way that they sewed the back material together, it just, it drapes so nicely. It adds a nice level of elegance to this. What's great about this mesh in particular is it could be sporty or sexy, depending on what you pair with it. So pair this with an active set, chic sporty. Pair this with a tight summer dress, sexy. Only thing I wish they'd done differently on this jacket, I wish this was gold and not silver. I think with this starlight creamy color, a nice gold accent would have been perfect. And then it would have matched my game changer belt bag. This is true to size for sure. I think that you have a little extra room to play with in here, but not a whole ton. So I wouldn't really suggest sizing down in this unless you really prefer something that's more skin tight. Let's talk the ribbed seamless legging and the ribbed seamless sports bra. As you can see, this is a matching set and it's in the color mocha. When I first saw this set, I automatically assumed, okay, this is solely athleisure, right? You have a heavy rib here. I don't know about you, but I don't work out in heavy rib pieces. When actually looking at the brief, apparently you could use this for working out, mainly because the leggings have a built-in scrunch bum. Okay, here's my take on this set. First, before we go into the details of it, when I wore this set, the first thing I noticed was this lower part of the bra, that band, mixed with this band, was so compressive that it sandwiched me in 
and I was just spilling over, if you know what I mean, uncomfortably. Wasn't very flattering on me. Again, this is just me and my body type and whatnot. My very short torso doesn't help because these almost touched. They almost kissed and made out. I definitely would not want to work out in this. The material's just simply too thick. So starting with the bra, you do have removable bra pads. There's no adjustments on this. You don't have an actual physical band down here, just material. You could see up top, very heavy rib, and then it eventually goes into a smaller, more fine rib. Same with the back. Now what I do like about this set is the fact that they chose to sew in the Buff Bunny logo. It's a nice dark brown, nicely sewn in. This is all seamless, wonderful. Same with the waistband, right? Right on the back and you have a beautiful V seam as well. This is the type of waistband where if you bend a certain way, it will roll down. The scrunch really does remind me of the Amplify. I noticed it doesn't complete the curve, meaning the scrunch will work its way up almost like a wedgie and then just stop and hover. It only works for half the booty. Now again, this is how it's fitting my glutes and I wasn't totally impressed with this fit. Now, also keep in mind, this is very shiny when you squat as well. Now the front of the legging, all heavy rib. It's very bare around the glutes, which is great. I mean, you do not want rib on top of your glutes, no thanks. Then it starts with the ribbing going down the leg in the back. So it seems to me they tried to mix athleisure with a gym scrunch bump. That's my overall vibe from this. It's got a lot of buoyancy to it, so it's like a lot of bounce back. I think if you're in between, you need to 100% size up in this. The sports bra is tricky because I did feel like I was sagging a little bit. I know only one shoulder strap doesn't help that, but I did feel like there's a little extra room up here, but not here. So that's my dilemma. There's two different sizes happening here. So, I mean, you could size down so that it fits better up here if we have similar bust size, but then you're just gonna have too much compression right here. Now I do appreciate their experimentation here and knowing Buff Bunny, whenever they come out with new pieces, they tend to tweak it a little bit, a few times till they get it right. Just right now, this just doesn't work for me. I paired the six inch legacy shorts with the twisted sports bra. These are both in Brady Brown. Starting with the twisted sports bra, this has a natural twist front. It doesn't unravel, it is sewn in. There's no adjustments, you do still have the removable bra pads. Very wide straps indeed. This almost reminds me of how a swimsuit might look. It's very sexy, very low, low, low to the flow support. So this bra is more ideal for smaller busts. I'm like on the brim of this just being too low support. Never thought I'd say that, but it's true. When I lift my arms up, you can see my under boob. I do not suggest wearing this to the gym unless, you know, you have really small busts and you feel confident in doing that. This is made out of the Nubre fabric, so very, very soft, thick material. You do have the printed Buff Bunny logo on this one as well. Very thin and straightforward on the back too. So there's no twist backing, no clasp, nothing. This is a very light support where it's more just for show than anything. So if you're in between with this one, you might wanna consider sizing up if you have larger breasts. For me, I'll stick to my true size small. You guys know I love my legacy leggings. Well, I also love my legacy six inch shorts, see? Now we got some length here and I'm okay. The soft new braid fabric, the butterfly seam in the back, just really emphasizing the glutes. Some of the most flattering shorts that I've ever worn from Buff Bunny. I love them because they don't roll up. The length is just perfect for that. And they also don't cinch. All right, they're not bad in that department. So these are the Buff Bunny shorts that I'm most comfortable with wearing. And if you are wondering about sheerness, they're really good, especially with any of their new Bray materials. Because it's so thick, it's usually always pretty squat proof. So you wouldn't have a problem with that. My true size small works perfectly. If you're in between, I always suggest sizing up rather than down. I think having a little more room to breathe in these would be good. Let's take a look at the queen bee legging and the naked sports bra. These are in the color mocha. And what's really interesting about these pieces is their use of mesh. Now this set they did say is more gym friendly than anything, than anything you're gonna see in today's haul. This whole set is made out of nylon and spandex and lycra. Now let's take a look at the sports bra first, huh? This is a really nice supportive sports bra. If you're somebody with larger breasts or you really wanna wear a more supportive bra to the gym or just throughout the day, you can do this. This is a high neck racer back bra with no adjustments. 
You do have removable bra pads. No band here. So it ends at the seam. This is not a seamless set. Do keep that in mind. It's obviously not seamless because the whole front has seamed mesh. So bordering this mesh panel are seams. This is a double lined mesh. However, you can still see through it. In this overlap, you can see my fingers right through it. It's actually really sexy. I looked up close, you can see some cleavage, but that's about it. No nip slip here, we're good. I really like the way that they angled the cut of the arms. This way, it gives some room right here. When it's too close to my armpit, <laughs> then it has that annoying bra bulge. First thing I noticed when I was jumping around is, okay, now we have more of a medium to high impact bra. These seams keep the bra pads in place. On the back, they added in a silver Buff Bunny emblem at the top. Why isn't it gold? Why are some pieces gold and some are not? I don't like the silver. Moving on. The leggings, you have a tapered waist. Look how tiny this looks, what the? It does stretch out nicely. And the compression, the band is nice and moderate. Hugs right up against you, but not overly compressive, like that freaking ribbed one. I love the curvature of the seam in the front. I think it's very pretty. Has a little dip in the front, adds some personality. You also have the V seam in the back where it counts. Now you have the corresponding mesh paneling going down the leg. This one's not double meshed. You will absolutely see your underwear through this. So be mindful of that. I actually wore a really light tan ebby thong with this and that mesh just made it look like I was wearing a brown thong. So that's good. At least it turns it the same color as the rest of the legging. I don't know if you're wearing hot pink or whatnot. I don't know what it's gonna do then. Now I did do the squat test thoroughly in these leggings because this is the most gym friendly. So I did squat in black underwear. You do see it a little bit, but nothing crazy. I also did the sweat test and guess what? It showed sweat like no other. Actually, I was a bit shocked. It is very good at wicking off of your skin. So I felt my skin, it felt very dry, that's great. But boy, does it show sweat. Now, as you can see, there's a ton of seams going down this legging. Typically, when it comes to a lot of seams on a legging, I'm like, hell no, because it's usually uncomfortable. Luckily, they avoided the kneecap. That's a big deal. You don't want any seams running over your joints. This way, when you bend, nothing's constricting your movements. It's really not noticeable. I didn't really feel the seams or feel them dig in. So this is something where I was like, okay, I can get behind it. I do think if you're in between, you could get away with sizing up in these pieces. Other than that, I would keep your true size. To go over the set, we have the Go With The Flow crop top. The same color, mocha brown. Now this is a very, very lightweight crop top. Perfect for in and out of the gym, like when you're going to and from. This you just throw over your set. It is so effortless. You have an enormous, headspace here. So if you got a cute do up top, you don't have to worry about, you know, your ponytail falling out or whatnot. The backing is nearly all open and exposed, minus this one string, keeping it all together. And then down below it actually twists. So it's a very cute lay from behind. This is see-through. Obviously you don't want to wear it as is. You got to wear something underneath it. But I actually really like this breakup, okay? So it looks like there's an added design texture overlay so it gives more of a mosaic touch you could absolutely size down if you wanted to in this there's an ample amount of stretch look at that stretch but me size small i love oversized fits these days closing out the show with the revolution sports bra and legacy legging in journey dark brown i wanted to grab the darkest color possible just to show you guys like okay you got some lights you got some darks nice variety here this is made out of their new Bray fabric you guys you hear me talk about legacy leggings all the time. There's really nothing new here. Can't help but notice, this happens all the time with the legacy leggings. The darker in color you go, the tighter they fit. So I almost wish I size up to a medium. These days, if I'm going for a dark legacy, it's gotta be sized up. I'm starting to feel like there's no glute space back there on me, which is, very weird because this Brady Brown, these shorts fit great. If you guys have never seen my legacy reviews, this material, because it's new Bray, it is very soggy. If you were to sweat in this because it's so thick, it really does make you feel a little soggy and bogged down. It's not the most lightweight of material, but it is super soft. It's a brush soft, so it's so comfortable for all day wear. This is why I love this legging. 
to match the revolutionary sports bra. Now you do have a little bulkier of material here. The squared off neckline is where it's at for me, along with this laced up backside here. You have so many different straps, none of it's adjustable, but I don't ever feel like it needs to be. There's no weird wonky straps, it's just hanging loose. It is such a pretty backing. You have the thick straps over here, so it really is very comfortable to wear long term. And this material down here, not a band, so it's not gonna press in and cause unwanted cinch. This just lays flat over your rib cage. Like me, I usually tuck it up, make the bra a little smaller. You still have removable bra pads. Again, nothing has changed with this bra. I just think this is a great bra if you need more of a moderate support. If you're in between, for me, I would probably suggest sizing up. All right, guys, that is that. I hope you found this video helpful. If there's anything I didn't touch base on, always feel free to comment down below. Again, all of these pieces launch June 24th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can save 10% with my code GATA. Thank you so much if you do. Always let me know so I can personally thank you and show you the love you deserve. Let me know your thoughts, comment down below. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you and I will catch you in my next video. Other than that, this body soup is dope. Soup? My God. <laughs> what is it? This. Nice and soaking wet. This is, uh, <laughs> Jim Shark coming your way. Uh, ah! Yeah. But this is about buff money right now. Relatively stretchy, but, ooh. Ouch. <laughs> I got something to say. Oh yeah, we're watching Outlander after this. I can't wait. Any Outlander fans? Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't see your bra plaids, plaids. Where's the motherfucking halter top that I just had? Where is it? Wah, wah. Okay, let's go. <clears throat>